what's good what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you don't know already my name is elena i just got my nails done i did a little web fringe tip i hope you guys like them i know you guys aren't even here for that you guys are like bitch get to the story this has been long awaited under every single video i get a comment that's like tell us what happened in hawaii every live tell us what happened in hawaii everyone wants to know what happened in hawaii y'all I feel like I thought I had to come into this video with like every single detail to like somehow make it make sense for y'all but really it doesn't make sense none of it makes sense so we're just gonna I'm just gonna tell you guys a funny little story okay and we're just gonna roll with it okay so before we start let's spark up because this is gonna be a lot and honestly I'm just like I said I'm ready to just get it out there the best way I can describe this whole story is like a bad dream that doesn't make sense. You know when you wake up and you like tell someone your dream and it it doesn't make sense? That's how this is. So I need you guys to keep up, okay? I know there's going to be a lot of questions and maybe I can answer them in the comments, but I'm just going to give you guys a rundown. I was invited to go to Hawaii with my best friend and her family. She was bringing me and her brother, her younger brother, was bringing his two friends. One of the friends of her brother also brought his whole family. So I'm on this trip with two families and the other friend and me. So before we went on this trip, there was a rumor about one of the friends. And this friend is actually somebody I already know. I know him because he is the little cousin of one of my best friends and another one of my friends. And there was a rumor, a sexual assault rumor. As women, and I know the girlies are gonna back me up, as women we want to keep each other safe right so if you feel like there's something about somebody that people don't know you want to like let someone know and that's what this person was doing so i naturally brought it up to my friend and was like hey like i heard this like do you know anything about it i'm not accusing anyone of anything i don't know anything i'm just saying simply what i heard well my friend starts getting very defensive about it says that she doesn't want to look into it that even if that happened, it was a long time ago. Yeah, she said that. She said that she didn't want this to ruin her trip and that if I wanted to go and do research about it, I could go do that, but basically uh, don't bring it up to her. I expressed that I didn't really like her response. I was actually very thrown off by it. So I went and spoke to his cousins and I didn't find anything from it. So I didn't feel like I was you know like in a dangerous situation and again i was going with two other families my best friend her brother yada 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 well when i go on this trip i'm actually the last to fly out so everybody else is out there a couple of days before i get out there well when i get out there the first day goes good and basically like we're all in this one small ass room and me and her are sleeping in the living room the boys are in their room and then her family's in one and then the other family got like their own room somewhere else okay well as the nights go by things just get weird uh, my friend starts having an attitude with me i don't even understand why she's upset um she basically like just you know when people throw those fits when they ha obviously have an issue and they just want to pout in the corner but they don't know how to like actually communicate. That's basically what she was doing. I ended up confronting her on the third morning of the trip because I felt like the energy was so off and the whole family could tell that she was upset with me. Everybody else was talking to me except for her at this point. So it was very clear who she had an issue with and she couldn't even pretend to like not have an issue just for the sake of the trip, right? So as an adult, I tell her like, hey, can I talk to you over here? And she like comes over and she's like, what? And I'm like, what's up? Like, what's your problem? Like, clearly you're upset about something. Did I do something? Just trying to figure out like what's going on because I'm genuinely confused. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. My friend starts saying like, oh, well, like I just wanted you and so-and-so to like have your time. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, you know, like you guys are just like, basically, 
Now she's saying I'm moving shady because I'm getting along with the brother's friend who is also somebody that I know, somebody that I've seen grow up. I'm literally best friends with his cousin. Like this isn't a stranger to me, but because me and him are getting along, all of a sudden she's creating this scenario that like me and this kid are like doing something. And that's where I'm like, whoa. Like I, I literally start to realize everything she's thinking, right? And I'm like, you're weird as fuck for that. She starts yelling out that I called him a rapist. And this is where shit just goes crazy. Because when she says that, I totally take it, like, my face was like, excuse me? Like, I literally told her, I said, you need to remember who the fuck you're talking to. Because that's not how our conversation went. You said not to bring it on this trip, and here you are bringing it on this trip. And then now you're trying to create these weird ass narratives as if I'm like trying to get with your little brother's friend. Like, be so fucking for real. Like, this girl knows me. I don't move like that. So for her to start saying that I am just threw me off completely. And I knew that this was like weird as fuck. I'm so taken back by what she's saying that I literally just look at her and say that. I'm like, you need to remember who the fuck you're talking to. And I end up leaving. I go and I tell her mom to cancel the surfing lessons because we were supposed to do surfing lessons that morning. I didn't want to go. I said, honestly, her mom was like, why? And I'm like, honestly, the energy is just so off. I would rather just go spend my day and not like, you know, also mess with the energy of their family. You know, I was also thinking like, this is so weird. I don't even want anyone to like have to deal with how awkward this is. So maybe it's just best if I go spend the day by myself. So that's what I did. I didn't know I was gonna be by myself the whole day. So I didn't bring a phone charger. I didn't even bring sunscreen. Like I didn't bring anything, but I felt like if that was what was necessary for her to like take a minute to just like realize like what are you even saying then so be it i end up texting her like girl you're so fucking weird for that like what the fuck was that she just goes off trying to justify what she just did the way that she handled that the way that her attitude has been her pouting has been this whole fucking trip and i was telling her like no like that's like weird as fuck like the fact that you're even making me feel like this on this trip when you know exactly who I am is just not cool like what the fuck is going on she's like if you want to talk we can talk in person and at that point like I was honestly so over her shit like what do I have to talk to you about what do I have to explain to you I'm an adult and by the way you guys her brother's friend is an adult a consenting adult even if we play it that narrative even if I did do something or I was blah 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 whatever the fuck she's saying there was no reason for her to react that way other than her saying like that I called him a rapist but I never called him a rapist like I never did and I even say I say that throughout this whole thing read the fucking messages read my fucking messages anyways so I start walking back and then when I get there she's not there I'm with the two boys, her brother's friends, and I'm literally like ex like expressing how I'm feeling and how weird I feel. And I'm like genuinely telling that friend, like there's nothing going on here. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking, but there's like nothing going on here, like at all. There's nothing going on. Like I'm making it clear to everybody. I don't know what the fuck people are like trying to say, but none of that's going on. And I need to just make that clear right now. And then the one that I'm like being accused of moving shady with is like, I don't understand like why they're making it a big deal. Like if I'm not bothered by like you bringing that up, like I don't know why they are, which is so true. Like I literally explained to him how that went down. I literally explained to him because she started yelling out that I called him a rapist, told the whole family that I called him a rapist. And then I'm literally explaining to him, reading him the text messages on how that went down. And it's just not what she made it out to be. And that's where this all just goes so fucking wrong. All because my best friend, the girl that I thought was my friend, went and told this whole story to her family and her family friends. And that's when everyone turned on me. But at this point, the family's still talking to me. 
she ended up leaving i'm talking to them we end up going out to dinner that night for her brother she's not talking to anybody at the dinner like literally she's in the corner talking to nobody like that's how fucking weird she is she's in the corner making it weird for everybody and literally just making me feel like i just fucked her dad like that's like the best way that i could put it you guys she was acting like i just fucked her dad she ends up like not even wanting to sleep with me that night like the the third night and i ended up sleeping on the floor and this is just a part of like how weird this all was you guys there's so much details to this i could literally sit here for like two hours telling you how every single thing went and what led up to this big ass fallout but i just seriously don't have the energy for it so the next morning after i sleep on the fucking ground i actually woke up to her mom waking me up to go sleep in one of the beds and when i was getting ready she came up to me with my friend's dad so it was both her parents and the mom was like i just want to let you know like we don't know what's going on we really just want to stay out of it um but we want you to know that you're like family and what we won't have is you sleeping on the ground again okay i want everybody to keep this in mind okay and this just goes to show that my energy was never weird towards her family i was never disrespectful towards her family i was just trying to make the best of this awkward ass situation right so we go to this beach where they have those big ass rocks the ones if you watch the vlog you saw i jumped and i got fat ass bruises on my legs from that's the day that we go there we had so much fun and again at this point the family's fine with me the family friends are fine with me everyone's cool except for her she is the only one with the issue here and when we end up leaving she ends up leaving with her uncle and aunt and i end up leaving with the two families and whatever so after we eat we all go back to the hotel it's friday night and we're all taking turns to shower because again there's a lot of us in one room and we're on the porch smoking and then whoever's in the shower is taking a shower and i end up having a conversation with the friend the friend that i'm being accused of moving shady with whatever you want to call it whatever the fuck she's implying i don't even know and i'm just like trying to wrap my head around all of this i've been thinking every single detail possible for how we ended up here and nothing is making sense right so i ask him i'm like hey i just don't get this like i'm really lost and i just don't know if i'm missing something so i ask him straight up i'm like did you say something about me before or did she say anything has she ever maybe made you feel like she likes you i literally don't get it like trust me it was weird even coming out of my mouth i felt awkward even asking him but i just felt like there was something i was missing here well this is where everything goes to shit because as we're talking about this and as he's literally saying that he it was wondering the same thing because it just none of it makes sense her mom comes out and her mom goes you know we can fucking hear you inside right and i said that's okay i don't care if you heard me we should totally talk about it and off the bat her mom just gets very very aggressive she's like we're not gonna fucking talk about this shit on our trip like how is everybody gonna like talk shit behind my back and treat me like shit but then when i'm like saying like tell me what i've done no one has shit to say like nobody has shit to say that's the thing that it's it's all delusion she starts getting in my face she starts literally getting in my face and she starts calling me a little bitch she's like we're not gonna fucking talk about shit little bitch like you came on our trip little bitch and that's where i'm just like whoa 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 and so i tell her i say i'm like whoa you need to get out of my face and then that's when my friend comes out and she's like don't fucking talk to my mom like that and i'm like your mom's talking to me like that your mama's in my face girl like your mom is trying to get down with me and you're gonna come at me saying not to disrespect your mom like i've been disrespected this whole fucking trip so her mom starts getting in my face then the friend starts like yelling back at them trying to defend me like whoa like what are you guys doing because they're like literally getting in my face then the family friend mom comes out and she's trying to like you know get like some type of control 
control in the situation and she does like honestly hear me out for a sec but then when that friend starts like telling you know my friend and her mom to calm down they like turn on him and they're like shut the fuck up you guys ruined our fucking trip all this stuff now they're saying we ruined their trip like what the fuck did we do like literally what the fuck did we do so then as i'm talking to the family mom outside telling her how like i feel like nobody here knows me i don't have any family here this is so awkward for me and i've been made to feel like i'm doing something and i'm asking what i'm doing and no one's saying anything and i just feel like it's not fair, you know? I don't care where we're at. So as I'm talking to this mom, I hear inside everyone going fucking psycho. Everybody's like literally going psycho. So we move inside and basically they start telling us like, get the fuck out of here. And then the friend's like, Elena, get your shit, let's go, like whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I start packing my shit. I start going back and forth to the bathroom, to the room, making sure that I have all my stuff. And I'm like packing my stuff and everybody's talking shit to me. My friend's talking shit to me. She's bringing up some whack ass random ass shit like she literally you know when people have nothing to say so they start like pulling shit out of their ass that's literally what she was doing the whole fucking time all of a sudden this girl was just like trying to like say whatever she could to like get everyone in the room all wild up on me like it was weird as fuck she was literally egging it on I need you guys to picture me down at my suitcase on the ground, trying to pack all my shit, getting everything done. The kid leaves with one of the sisters of the family friend. The kid leaves, they, cause he's pissed off. I'm fucking here dealing with the rest of the family by myself, trying to pack up my shit as fast as I can. My best friend's mom is literally trying to fight me. She's running up on me, you guys. As I'm on the floor packing my suitcase, she's literally running up to me like she's gonna do something, running back, calling me a little bitch. She called me a spoiled little bitch, which is even funnier because like, if you really know me, I've never been spoiled a day in my fucking life. Like, spoiled little bitch just goes to show that she didn't even fucking know me. And when she kept calling me a bitch, it was really like, I've never had one of my friends' parents not like me, let alone, but then also to like be getting in my face like they're gonna fight me, calling me a little bitch over and over. I've never seen some shit like that. And I come from crazy, but like that shit was crazy. So obviously after she calls me a little bitch 17 times, I finally look at her and I'm like, listen lady, and I did say two things. You guys, I kept my cool so well in this. Like I said, I almost couldn't even take it seriously because of how much shit was happening. But I literally told her mom, I'm like, listen, lady, you're lucky my mom's dead. Because if my mom was here, yo ass would have been beat before you got back to California. I told her, I said, remember that you're talking to somebody else's daughter too. You're a grown ass lady. Like, act like it. You're a whole ass mom. Act like it. Like, why are you trying to fight your daughter's friend who's literally saying nothing to you? If me saying, I don't care if you heard me, we should talk about it, is disrespectful, that's insane. Because I feel like people just aren't used to direct ask, like, conversation. And when I hit her with that, that's when she got all crazy because she was like, all like you know like girl you're a grown-ass woman you should be able to have a conversation with me like i don't understand what your issue is this lady starts going she's using her mom against me i'm like girl my mom's dead you're lucky that's what i'm saying so then my friend's going off i'm going back and forth to the bathroom and on my way back she has her uncle who's there and he starts calling me names too and he's like you do a whole lot of talking but not enough packing bitch get your shit and go and i turn to him and i'm like you're calling me a bitch too i'm like what and he like literally smacks down and gets up like he's gonna fight me too i'm like dude i'm like you're literally not gonna fight me like i was like literally touch me like do something what are you gonna do like i literally could not believe that he was getting up like he was gonna do something i'm just trying to get my shit like i literally am genuinely trying to make sure that i don't have anything that i'm missing so that i don't have to come back here you know what i mean so, so I'm like making sure that I have everything and I'm realizing I don't know where my charger is. And obviously that's very crucial. I'd even mention that this is 1130 on a Friday night in Waikiki and I'm being kicked out. 
Okay. I need you guys to remember that as well. Okay. So I'm looking for my charger and her mom starts going crazy once again. She's like, get the fuck out. My best friend saying, get the fuck out. It was so crazy how they were acting. And I was just there calm trying to get my shit together. Like, I think because I couldn't take them seriously, it was making them more upset. But like, how do you take people like that seriously? Like, dead ass, dead ass. I'm like, I'm looking for my charger. And her mom's like, buy a new charger, bitch. And I start laughing and I'm like, why would I buy a new charger when I can find my charger here and then I can leave? She's like, to everyone, she's like, do you, do I need to fucking call the police on her? And I'm like, please call the police, please call the police. Tell them that I have like seven people ganging up on me in this hotel room right now and tell them, please call the police. I need them, honestly. Like I need some type of backup right now. Like I'm fucked right now. I got like seven people all bitching at me in this room and I don't even know what's gonna happen so then my friend's going off whatever she she is i'll give her one thing she was the only person in the room who didn't call me a bitch because i feel like she knew one i wasn't and two don't play me like that and that's the funniest part is the one person who knew me the only person in that room who even knew some part of me or whatever i thought is the one person that did kind of you know, she didn't call me a bitch because she knew better. She knew better. I don't know. Her energy was something I had never seen ever before that night. This is the other thing I did throw back. Other than me being calm and collected, there's only so much bullshit I can take. And I think I handled it very well. I think I could have been a lot more disrespectful if you ask me. But she's like, none of my friends would have ever done this. And I said, what friends do you have? I was like, you can't keep friends. And you said that yourself. You can't keep friends because this is the way that you act. And this is how you communicate. It's, you don't get your way pouting. You don't get to just sit in the corner and make everyone else feel like shit because you don't know how to communicate your issue. You don't get to whine and do all of that. You don't get to do that. I don't owe you an explanation. I'm your friend. I don't owe you an explanation of what the fuck I'm doing. I'm an adult. And at the end of the day, if you have an issue with me, you can talk to me privately. And that's not what she did. So yeah, I did say what friends. And I know that sounds kind of harsh. And the room roared. I was expecting it. I knew that that wasn't going to come out so nice. But I think that it needed to be said because it was the truth. And that's when the sister of the family friends chimes in and she's younger and she starts calling me a bitch too so now my attention turns to her and I'm like why are you calling me a bitch too like why is everyone in this room like uh, like ganging up on me it's not even just me and my friend y'all like this girl had everybody and they mamas literally ganging up on me like it's just too much I literally look at that girl I'm like why are you calling me a bitch too and she's like well you're just making it seem like she doesn't have any I'm like what do you know anything about me and her's friendship or the situation that we are even talking about what do you know about anything and then the mom the family friend mom goes she does know and I'm like no none of you guys know anything you don't know anything but what she's told you. But I've never had a moment to fucking speak for myself. And that's the issue here. None of you know how to fucking communicate like adults. You're all fucking insane. I stand by that. I don't give a fuck. You're all fucking insane. I've never seen crazy like that before. So when I said she didn't know how to keep friends, that young sister was like, oh, you stupid fucking bitch. And I was like, call me a bitch one more time. You're literally like 15 years old. I'll beat your ass. And she runs after me like a fucking hyena. And her mom grabs her and is like, we're not going to do that. And I'm like, yeah, we're not going to do that. And I find my charger. I get my shit and I, I walk out. I'm like, I'm just trying to get my shit. That's all I was trying to do. And even when they were all coming at me like that, I didn't call anyone in that room a name. I didn't have to. I didn't know those people. They don't know me. And that's the thing. Anything that I was saying in any of that was out of defense for myself. Because clearly, these people were trying to like make me out to be something that I wasn't. It took seven of them to try and do something. And none of them did shit. Like, come on. So then when I walk out, the other sister of the family friend comes out. And she's like, she might be 15, but I'm not, bitch. And I'm like, oh my God, you too? 
you too who's next like you're twice her age it's not much better who's next like your grandma like i literally can't keep up so that's what happened a bunch of whack-ass shit i know you guys are like bitch what the fuck because i'm also like bitch what the fuck but that's what happened i ended up leaving i had all my bags in my suitcase and i was walking down fucking wakiki it was so busy like i said it was friday night at 11 30 i had gone to multiple hotels that were sold out for the weekend everything was super expensive and i finally was able to find a hotel and i literally told the valet guy i'm like i need your help like help me help me i literally just need somewhere to sleep i don't care how much it costs i just need somewhere to put my head and if you guys saw that in the vlog that's what i did and then i found that cute little hotel and i stayed there and i ended up staying the last two days that i was originally supposed to the funny part about all of this as well is i also flew back with them um luckily i flew with southwest so our seats weren't assigned but i did see them at the airport and i did fly back with them and my dad picked me up when i got home my dad was super pissed off and i was like telling my dad i'm like honestly dad like it's not even worth it like those people are fucking trash like literally trash and my dad was like no like when i send my daughter with another family and with parents and i trust them to take care of my daughter and for them to throw her out after trying to harm her no 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 and it's understandable like remember when her parents literally told me you're like family and the last thing we're gonna have is you sleeping on the floor but you're gonna throw me out on the street at 11 30 at night on an island where i don't know anyone i don't have anywhere to stay like what the fuck who does that what best friend does that to you what friend invites you on a trip and then accuses you of things then doesn't know how to talk to you so like literally just makes you uncomfortable the whole time and then turns her whole family and family friends against her or against you and be okay with kicking you out and not give a fuck about if you're okay like who does that like i genuinely just don't get it you guys and honestly this shit it was honestly very traumatizing i don't know i just feel like i would have never done anyone like that especially somebody that i claim to be best friends with somebody that i you know i'm disappointed i feel embarrassed that i you know went so hard for this girl i spoke so highly of this girl I brought her on my channel. I introduced her to you guys. She introduced herself to you guys. She made herself comfortable here. And for her to do me like that, I'm not gonna lie guys, like it was tough. Um, and it made me feel like I just didn't know where to come back. And I feel like that's why I really do wanna just you know tell you guys what happened and just move forward i still unfortunately work with the girl i got her a job where i'm at and she still is there when someone does something like that to you and like really makes you or tries to make you question yourself and gets everyone else again like to be against you there's just no going back from that but yeah she never wants to work with me anytime that we're scheduled the same shift she'll like get it covered it's kind of ridiculous but you know all i can do is know what my intentions were and i stand by who i am and i know who i am and um it's unfortunate but it's a part of life i'm sorry i kept you guys waiting for so long but i hope that you guys can see now kind of what i've been dealing with and just how i'm trying to navigate where we go from here and really just getting back to my roots with my content with just my solo videos and me chit-chatting with you guys my phone died but i'm gonna go meet up with my dad um i'm sorry to keep you guys waiting on this video there's just like i said so much to it that doesn't fucking make any sense but i'm glad i finally filmed just a quick long story short but not even short there's so much other details that i could have included but just know that People are weird as fuck. Don't ever let people try to make you out to be something that you're not. And fuck them. Okay? Alright. Peace and love. Peace and love. See you guys in the next one.